Okay, and now we're back. And now we're gonna be adding a little more styles to this app. So first thing we're gonna to want to do is actually go back to our app.css and we're gonna add back in this body property here. So what this is gonna do, it's gonna allow us to specify styles on the entire body of the page. So what that means, so let's try background color. If we change that to black and then we make the text, which is gonna be color property. Uh, if we save that, we can now see that React is going to reload the page with our new styles that are being pulled from here. So we're not gonna be adding too much CSS in the actual CSS file. Uh, the body is just an element we don't really have access to with styled components here. So we're just gonna be adding a few styles here to customize our app. So let's pick a different background color. I'm gonna pick this one right here. So if I go here, I add in this. So this color right here, it's gonna give us more of a dark blue. We save that, we can see now we have this. And because we're using this, because we're overriding those styles with styled components, we're gonna actually want to remove these properties right here. And it's just so we can see that the white, color white property is actually taking effect, which it is. So now that we have that working, we're gonna customize our font. So if we go here to Google Fonts, you search for Google Fonts, you could search for whatever font you'd like, and these are easily added in and hosted by Google. So if we just go here to select this font. I already clicked select it. So if we say select this font, we go down here, we can see that we have a link to add in. So we're gonna add this into our HTML page. So we go back to our HTML page. After this, we're gonna add in this link here. So we're gonna save that, and then we're gonna go back to this property, which is our font family property, which is gonna allow us to use this font within the app. So now we go back to our app.css, and we use, we, we use our paste command here to paste in this font family property. We save this, and we go back to our app, which is reloading, and it did not work. So let's refresh the page. You're gonna to need to refresh the page for that one. So now we have our custom font loaded. Okay, so now that we have our, our, our app styled a little better, now we're going to actually git commit again. So I'm gonna say git status, just gonna review the files we've modified. So we added in the Google font here in the index.html, we added in some CSS that applies to our whole body, and we went and removed some of the colors in our custom elements that we created. So with that, we're gonna do another git commit, and we're just gonna say, uh, customize styles with Google fonts, customize body styles, and we're gonna say add Google font, customize body styles, there we go. Okay, 